World War I, the largest war the world had yet to see. 65 million men and women took a stand for their country. 10 million didn't live to see November 11, 1918, and 20 million were injured and traumatized for the rest of their lives. The war was a time where inventions and new technology soared, and the innovation scene were never even imagined to exist. The world changed as we knew it from 1914 to 1918. Technology played a significant role in World War I. It gave countries advantage over one another which decided if you won or lost. One of the best ways to describe the revolution of technology in World War I was that countries rode in on horses and flew out on planes. Some of the most notable technology used included tanks, a large heavily armored killing machine that could crush barbed wire, cross trenches, and break through enemy lines. Flamethrowers were also used, which was a device that used fuel oil, pressure from nitrogen, and a spark to create flames that shot out from the barrel of the weapon. Poisonous gas was a very popular piece of technology used. It looked like a greenish yellow substance known as chlorine gas that was very harmful to the enemy. Some of the effects of this gas included temporary blindness, coughing, and wheezing. But the two pieces of technology that revolutionized the war in the air and water were planes and U-boats. U-boats are the same as what we call a submarine today. These boats were small and fragile and not easily detected and could destroy fleets. They were used all throughout World War I. Many countries used them as the war progressed, but Germany used these boats first. These boats went underwater so they weren't detectable from sight when looking at the ocean. The stealth of these ships helped countries gain territory by carrying out surprise attacks as well as spying on the enemy's movements by going behind enemy lines. Here is veteran Fred Bunday and Bill Stone to speak with me about their experiences on the U-boats in World War I. Oh yeah, or whatever they call it. You know, I didn't like, I liked to be where I could get out. I didn't like to be closed in. And submarines were terrible, really. They were small and, and so vulnerable. It's many submarines, so they didn't want a lot of men volunteer. But as they went further on, we got more, and Wisconsin, they had to go in them. I didn't want to go, but they had to go. But after we saw them, after they were delighted. And the submarine, they're all as one, you see. You're the lieutenant and I'm a stoker. We both work together. Because you get hit, you've got to know what to do, you see, in a submarine. The other piece of technology that was used in World War I was planes. This was the first war in history that planes were involved in. This piece of technology changed the way armies fought. Planes were invented 11 years before that by the Wrights brothers in 1903. But when the war began, the planes were small, not very powerful, and slow, so their jobs were very limited. But after improvements, planes were used a lot, and still are to this day. Germany was the first to use planes, but by the end of the war, almost all countries used this piece of technology. Planes played a very significant role in the war, such as flying over battlefields and reporting back to soldiers as to their position and movements of the enemy. But armies began to realize that planes could not be used for dropping bombs as well. The typical aircraft couldn't handle the weight of these bombs, so improvements were made. The invention called the interrupter developed by Germans allowed the propeller to be synchronized with the bullets coming out of the machine gun. From this invention used, planes began to fight in the air, which is also known as dogfights. But overall, the role of weapons and technology played a major part for countries and determined the outcome. These innovations and inventions were improved upon and used in World War II as well. Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the